Greetings my fellow Gators! I would like to welcome you to another video regarding my 3D printing models. And this time, as you can see, we will take a look at Puddle Jumper or the Gate Ship. So, uh, I will not bother you too much uh, with the details, I guess you are all familiar with the ship. Uh, so I will only tell something about the reference pictures that you can see. Uh, those are provided by Spino Breaker and uh, what you can see uh, are actually the prints or, or uh, screens of actual VFX models used in the show. So uh, I took uh, care only about this one and that uh, I use as a reference. And we have uh, different reference points from uh, side view, from top, from bottom and as you will have seen uh, this one. I also uh, downloaded this spec uh, because it has the front and kinda use it to design the front. And well that is kinda it. So once again thank you very much Spinal Breaker for providing those. The, those were immensely helpful. And now we can take a look at Creo to uh, what I actually come, came up with. So this is it. This is the puddle jumper that I have designed. And uh, yes, uh, from the first glance you can see that it does not have inside, that the window is black. Well. I don't uh, have a transparent filament or something that I can use uh, as a glue, uh, sorry, as a, as a glass. But even if I had, I still wouldn't do it uh, with, the, with the inside because uh, I wanted to design the jumper in such a way so that the bolts are retractable. So we can see the engine pods. and also weapon pods. And consider, uh, considering the design of the uh, retraction, I uh, wouldn't be able to actually do the inside here. Yes, I can do the pilot area because that's divided via the doors, so that could be done, but I, because I don't have any transparent material, I decided to simply skip that. Now, I try to be as uh, uh, as much uh, through to the uh, to the reference pictures, and for the most part, I think I was successful. But there is one thing that I made completely different, and that's the extension part for the uh, for the pods. If we take a look at the picture, you can see that there is only that uh, it's very different. It also has those two I don't know oxygen bombs or whatever those are. But the thing is that uh, this simply wouldn't work in a CGI model, maybe, but not in a practical one. And uh, the way I would have to do it, uh, those engines wouldn't even be retractable because I wouldn't be able to extend them uh, enough because right now they go way over a half of the of the model so uh, that's the only way for me to actually do it so yeah this is not that nice but it works and what do i mean by that i will get rid of this cover yeah you can see this is how it is done and when i retract them you can see that they the pylons go way beyond the half and uh, there wouldn't be way around it and if I uh, did it shorter so it would extend let's say like here that would be possible but then I wouldn't be able to actually uh, rotate the engines themselves in the show uh, there is the slider and the engine slide inside that would be problematic here so I have it on hinge and they simply rotate like this. Uh, also, 
they have this inner part which slides inside so there is a piece and I made a mechanism here uh, so whenever I put it down it automatically retracts there is no such a connection in real life and you have to do it manually or I have to do it manually but yeah, here it is automatic so this is how the retraction actually works and it works uh, really nice um, and the same goes here for the weapon spot yeah it's sliding here and it's held together by the bottom which I now have, now have invisible I also made some very simplistic uh, props for the drones and uh, yeah that's 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 kind of it and now I would like to show you how it actually goes together so we have this piece and it has this locking system that you are familiar with then the corresponding part with nothing really uh, that uh, you know special about it then I once again use my pin systems uh, though this one is 20 millimeter thick or has a diameter of 20 millimeter then we have a top yeah, it has four holes for the four pins then we have another pins here and here now we have this piece that is slide uh, on to those two pins we have a front as a separate piece and once again it has two holes for the corresponding pins and here we have a back so yeah it has three holes for the corresponding pins and that's the main body then we have one pylon we have the second pylon and now yeah pins one part of the engine it has a very small pin inside as well other part that simply so that uh, you know uh, it's always in this position and the same on the other side and then the inside of the engines obviously the pin wouldn't be there first you have to inside insert the pin once the assembly is together and then the weapon ports one and two and as you can see the drones are separate pieces inserted inside and the same goes for the back and then the bottom uh, we have extend extensions here 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 and here and here and the the bottom has corresponding openings no, and not just that uh, it's uh, divided into two pieces and it has the same locking system so it all clicks together really nicely and that's it that's the model so I guess we can now go and print it and assemble it together So here we will have a little assembly of the engines, so here's the one part and here we have the second part and here we will simply put, put it inside like this 
and then we have this part as you can see I already inserted the back so we will put them together just like this and now we will take the entire pot as you can see I already inserted the rod and simply put it inside and then put it together and then put it together okay like this it is now there and okay and as you can see here we have all the pieces uh, it's quite big big isn't it uh, so uh, obviously I already have the weapon spot prepared I didn't really bother to film uh, putting all those pieces there um, yeah, one thing you may notice is that here I have only two drone ends that's because the third fell somewhere on the ground and I wasn't able to find it and I didn't bother to uh, print uh, another one also the uh, engine pods are already assembled uh, after all you already see and saw how to do them so yeah and now we can start but before we do i would like to point something out in this thing uh, i have uh, kind of broke something that i uh, always said that i uh, don't want to do and that's that it's not 100 percent uh, 3d printed because as you can see here i don't know if it's actually visible on the video but there is a little bit of tape and it's uh, on all the places where there are the sliders and that's to uh, add additional friction uh, so that it stays in place and isn't that very that, that much loose because i like the uh, tolerance uh, because not every printer uh, is uh, has, has such a tolerance as mine so I'm compensating. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I'm compensating with the tape, and it's in every place where uh, the sliders are. So yeah, we have, we have the locking mechanism. So we put the two halves together. Yeah, I also already attached all those pins. I didn't bother to record it. Okay. Now we will take this piece and simply slide it in like this and it's on place. Now we have to attach the roof. It will be a little bit hard with those four pegs but And it's on place so now we attach the back yeah once again three holes three pins and last but not least the very front two holes two holes okay and the main body is done. So now we will turn it over <coughs> and we take first pylon and put it here. Slide inside. We take the second pylon and do the same. We take first weapon platform, put it on place. Same with the second one. Okay, and now we just uh, leave it out and we simply take the bottom cover. It has those slots, so we put them together and simply put it here.
and it is done. Now, I guess it is visible that uh, there are different, you know, shades. Even though it's uh, one material, uh, it's all uh, printed from the single material. The difference that you can see is in a way it was printed, the uh, orientation. So for now, I intend to ignore it, but not for long. I actually want to paint spray it. And uh, I first want to use a kind of, well, let's say, a primary color that would cover all those uh, differently shaped, uh, sh not shaped, but shaded shades, I guess. And then apply a normal color. The jumper is uh, a little bit greenish. I don't know if I will go there uh, because I don't really like that color. I would stay for the dark gray, but uh, I want to do it in such a way that it's you know actually uh, one color and not not this not this thing. I already, as you can see from the front, I already painted this uh, uh, dark gray and uh, it looks better that way. However, I don't really want to do it for this entire piece because as you can see the jumper is quite big. Okay, so now uh, when it's assembled, uh, I guess that we have to, you know, extend the pots. So. One. Okay, those are the engine pods extended and now the weapon pods. Okay, then yeah, I kind of have a problem with opening of this one, it's kind of uh, stick, so I guess I will open it into it. So now, yeah, all the pots are retracted and jumper is ready to fly and fight. It's quite a big, big ship actually, and yeah. So uh, now what we will do, we will retract all the pots, so now we have this and I prepared something special and that's the space gate and we will test if it can actually go through. It can. Oh, my hand cannot. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, always had uh, intended uh, when I will do jumper to be in scale with my gates, and this is indeed the case. So yes, that's it. That's my jumper. I hope you enjoyed it. And when it comes to the print, uh, sorry, the painting, uh, yeah, uh, I plan to do it, um, maybe even this week, I don't know, I really will not post any video about that, maybe some pictures, sure, but certainly not, not a video about just how it looks now. Yeah, so this is my big unit, my big jumper. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see each other on the next project. Okay, have a very nice day, and bye-bye.